don't you tell them about uh, what your father did in World War One, my mom? Well, my dad was one of 16 children. And when World War I broke out in 19... Seven, 19... Yes, 17. 17, I think it was. Correct. He enlisted in the Army, uh, and he was only... Um, they, you were supposed to be 18 to, li to enlist, but he was only 17, and so he uh, told a fib about his age, <laughs> and he used his brother's birth certificate, his older brother, who was 18, and he enlisted uh, in the Army, uh, and during World War I, he was in France, and uh, he was gassed in France. They had, they had, you know, they would gas the troops at that time. The Germans would, the Nazis would, at that time. And um, so he was in the hospital for a little while, and then when he came out, he, uh, my father only went to sixth grade because at that time. Uh, they had to go to work really early because they had a lot of brothers and sisters. So what he did was he um, he learned from the children in France um, the, the French language, and he became so good at it that he was an interpreter for the United States Army at one point. But then he tried to enlist again for the Second World War, which he, he managed to do. That time he was 40-some years old, and he had, was married and had four children. And being 40-some years old, it was a little hard on him. They, he went and was draft, he was um, sent to uh, Kansas City. And Kansas City, Kansas, and they put him through basic training, which all the guys had to go through. And they used to call him the old man because most of the fellows that were training were like anywhere from 18, 20, you know. Very few of them were in their 40s. Well, as it turned out, he almost... He wound up in the hospital of heat exhaustion, and uh, they sent him home, and they said that he had already done his part, and he didn't, he didn't have to be in the service anymore. <laughs> Do you remember any family stories? Family stories from the, from the Second World War? Yes, or the mm. Great Depression. Or the Great Depression. Well, I remember my mother used to tell me about uh, people that didn't have jobs at that time, and uh, they used to get uh, with whatever money they had, they would buy apples and, in a basket, and they would stand on the on the on the street corners in the city, and they would sell apples to see if they could make enough money for their family to eat that very night. Mm -hmm. And what did your dad uh, put his car away, right? Well, that was the Second World War. Yeah. My father wouldn't drive his car during the Second World War because of the gas shortage. And he put it up on blocks until after the war and then he would use the car again. But he, during the war, he would not. He refused to, to use his car because he wanted to do his part to for the service people. 